Welcome to Pyramid Fitness. It's the end of a long day. I ran a lot yesterday. And I'm going to show you some quick tips on releasing knee pain. So I have a little bit of tightness in my hamstrings and quads. I actually feel fine, but it made me think of um, um, what I normally do when I have issues with my knees and I'm tight. Um, we're using a foam roller, and what we're going to go over very quickly is rolling out um, the lateral side of your thigh, your IT band, where your quad runs into the side of your leg, and also where your hamstring. Uh, delves into that IT band on the side as well, okay? And then we're going to also work on the inner thigh, something we always forget about. If the outside is tight and we're working on it, why should we not work on the other side? So we're going to the inner thigh here and rolling out. The first thing we're going to go over is line this thing down. How to approach it, kind of important. Be really gentle. No. So we're going we're gonna to lie parallel to the foam roller and we're going to throw our thigh over and kind of open our other leg up. And we're going to get into that groin. And what I like to do when I first start doing this is extend my leg out. So I'm in an extended position, really exposed, and my groin's tight from running, absolutely. So I'm sitting in there. I don't know if you can see me fairly well. I'm pretty sure that you can. And what I'm going to do is just slowly work my way down my leg. I'll kind of roll in more and then roll out and find those sweet, tender spots. And when I find them, I pause for a little bit. So I'm going to come in here, get a little bit closer to the knee. Let me scoot over just a little bit for you. So what I end up doing when I get closer to the knee, generally speaking, you're going to get more of that tenderness as you get closer because um, that's where the joint is and that's where things will tighten up. So when I get closer, ah, there's a sweet spot. I'm going to hold and breathe and try to relax. In fact, I'm going to let my leg kind of fall down a little bit and lift up my other leg off the ground and put some weight on that side. So I'm going to collect about 20 seconds on a sore spot, a tender spot, and then I'm going to move down even farther. Okay, what you don't want to do is put all the pressure on the knee. You don't want to go to the joint and sit directly on it. But what you are doing is working your way down to that knee. Okay, right before you get to it, you're going to stop. You're going to find a lot of tenderness when you're close to it. The other thing, so that's the inside thigh, working your way down. You can also bend your knee, play around. The sweet thing I like to do, my clients, is working that IT band. This is a big issue. Not a lot of blood flow gets there. And... Coincidentally, you don't heal as quickly, okay? So what's important is you have to get this body work in to help relieve and help you stay loose and limber and help you have a healthy hip, healthy joints. So we're gonna start just below that bony part of the hip. You don't wanna go right on the hip. And what I'm gonna start with doing is pancaking your IT and your thigh by rolling through it. So I'm gonna to roll towards you. Good, all the way across the thigh and back. And as I roll back, I'm gonna go all the way across until I hit that hamstring, okay? You're gonna go back and forth a couple of times, and then you're gonna work your way down again, closer toward the knee, and then rolling through, okay? Back and forth. The other thing you can do, not only roll across it, but we'll go vertically. So if there's sweet spots you know of, you're gonna go on a certain track. So this is my hamstring track. I'm gonna follow the hamstring down to the knee and then back. I'm gonna roll forward a little bit, follow the IT all the way down and back, and then I'll keep rolling over until I get much of that quad. All right, so that's just an introduction. There's a lot I can say to you. Um, soon I'll show you more kind of a complete rundown of how you can do your entire body, your chest, your lats, uh, your triceps, your calves, everything. Just a little run through. This will help eliminate the knee problems that you had. I should say eliminate. It's going to help dramatically reduce, but at some point the goal is to eliminate, and that's what we're working toward. Thanks for joining Puma Fitness. Have a great day. I'm going to enjoy the sun while it's still lasting.